Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel and if you're new here, welcome. So I'm very excited to show you guys that I did get a collaboration request from McCart once again and this time they sent me a whole bunch of poly gel. The first kit that I am going to show you guys is the Parison in pink. They did send me two kits. So as soon as you open that kit, it does come with instruction manuals. And as I always say, for any poly gel that you use, you do need to check the cure times. And for this poly gel, it is 60 seconds. So we are going to do that. It also came with these dried flowers, which is perfect for milk bath nails and also a small little pan of some gems and crystals. This also came with a pack of dual forms, as well as a bottle of top and base coat, and your standard poly gel brush with the scrape end. So now we're gonna get into the jelly poly gel kit. At this time, this kit has a brush and a nail file. as well as slip solution, which I honestly forgot to try when I was going towards the end of filming this video, and another top and base coat. So I'm gonna go ahead and swatch these colors for you guys. So I didn't swatch these two colors because I already have them and I really wanted to put focus on colors that I haven't tried before. So yeah, I'm not going to swatch these two as I am using the one on the right for today's set. So here are how all the colors look swatched out. I'm really excited to try all of these colors out and the different nail sets to try them with. I'm already picturing some in my head right now. So I'm going to move on to nail prep. I'm not really doing much. I'm actually going to jump right into placing cuticle oil on my nails. I'm going to rub that in and then I'm going to follow that up with some top coat. I'm going to cure that in a lamp for about 30 seconds. I am creating a peel off base coat today. It's just more convenient for me as I do switch in between sets often.
Next, I'm gonna take some base coat from my cart once again, and I'm using this to adhere my nail tips as well, and I have my gel X lamp on the side. So for these nails, I barely cut the tip of it. I just filed the end. I'm going to go ahead and take my sanding band and blend the tip with the nail. Once I was done with that, I am going to take some base coat and apply that on the entire nail and I'm going to cure that in the lamp for 30 seconds. Now for the ombre portion of the nails, I am going to be using this blue Beatles gel polish. I don't want like a deep blue for the water effect. I kind of wanted a light blue. I did really like the way the pool water effect looked, but I just wanted a lighter, more softer water effect nails. So I'm applying that on all of my nails. I am going to cure that in the lamp for 30 seconds. Then for this next part, I did mix top coat and white gel polish on a mixing plate and I used that to paint on the nail. And what we're gonna do, we're not gonna cure this, we're gonna paint it straight on. Then you're gonna take a dotting tool with some top coat and place some dots over the nail. I did try using blooming gel and it just didn't turn out right. So top coat is honestly the best way to go about this. And make sure you use a little bit of top coat because it kind of floods on the nail it kind of made my sidewalls kind of thick and my sidewalls were running and i feel like it kind of ruined my poly gel application you'll be able to see that a little later into the video So it should look something like that once you're done. And I'm gonna go ahead and continue that on the rest of the nails.
Once I was finished with the water effect, I went ahead and cured that in the lamp for about 30 seconds. And I'm using this nude poly gel today as well as alcohol for my slip solution. Just keeping things simple. And I'm gonna go ahead and place a bead at the cuticle. I honestly added way too much. I just thought that maybe that this, since this color is so sheer, it wasn't going to ombre properly. So I did think that maybe if I added more than I needed to and kind of blended that and shaped it right, it would have worked. And it did for a little bit, but I would suggest not adding too much and not making such a thick bead just like I did. It took me much longer than it usually does when I do podge application. After I was done blending the cuticle beads, I am going to go in with some clear poly gel just to encapsulate the nail and just to make sure that it looks even because we don't really have an even structure for these nails since we only did one bead at the top. So here's how the nails look after application. I did go ahead and wipe off that sticky layer with some alcohol just to remove the sticky layer and so that when we file, the poly gel doesn't stick to the file.
ょうどそれ見終わった時電話がかかってきて無言電話だったみたいだけど So now we are going to move on to the gel art and we're going to do the hibiscus flowers. You do need a smaller dotting tool and some white gel polish and for some odd reason I really struggle with making these flowers no matter how many times I do it. So I do have to do it one petal at a time. I'm sorry I'm very weird like that but I don't know I think my brain kind of over complicates it because when I do it like the full circle and make a full petal with the dots I just completely mess it up. So I'm just doing it one petal at a time. So basically you're just going to put um, three dots in a triangle fashion and you're going to drag that to the center or drag it downwards depending on where the petal is and it's honestly pretty simple like that you really don't have to do, do too much this gel art portion is honestly very beginner friendly
once I was finished with the gel art, I am just going to top everything off with some top coat and I'm going to cure it in the lamp for 60 seconds. So here are how my nails turned out. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. I'm actually kind of surprised in how they came out. They look a lot better than I expected, even though I kind of wish I was a little more careful with the shaping. I have everything I used linked in the description box. Please don't forget to like and subscribe and thank you so much for watching. <laughs>